Hi everyone, welcome to my first PowerPoint 2016 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add text boxes and how to format them also. We have created a new presentation, so now we can get started. We're just going to go ahead and change the layout to blank slide, so we have room to work on. Now we're going to go to insert, because we're going to be inserting a text box. To put on the text box, click and drag to the desired width and height. This is where you're going to be typing in all of your text. You can also type inside a shape. We're going to type in any text. And now we're going to copy and paste to create a new text box. We're going to change the text of this one because these two text boxes will have different formatting and a different text. Now we'll move the text boxes a little bit apart so we have enough room to work with. And we'll start with this one. We'll go to home and we'll choose a font. I already have a good one, so I'm going to type it in. And as you can see, our font has been applied to our text field. Now we can make it bigger or smaller with the increasing and decreasing of the font buttons, or we can set it manually to the left. Some of the options are making it bold, italic, underlined, and crossed. Now we can also choose a color. We're gonna make the color of our text box a light blue color. Now we're going to move our text box into our desired position. Now let's go over these. You can center it, align it to the left or to the right. You can change the way it's going. You can choose where it is inside the text box. You can choose how many columns it has. And you can choose the line spacing, which is the spacing between the lines. You can also do dotted lists and numbered lists. Now we're going to go to our next text box, and we're going to change the formatting on this one as well. First, we'll add in a little bit more text, because we are going to be demonstrating a dotted list. As you can see, we have several different styles of dotted lists we can choose from, and we're going to choose a normal dotted one. And as you can see, when we type in new items, automatically adds new bullets to you. As you can see, uh, some of our words have red lines under them. That means that they do not register with the dictionary the PowerPoint has. But those are supposed to be like that. Let's say our word is really incorrect, and it'll give us some options that we can choose to fix it without having to spell check everything just like in Microsoft Word, Google Docs, etc. We'll just fix these up by adding them to dictionary, which means next time we write them, they will not register as incorrect. Now we'll change this font to another one, to another font that I like. And also, when you choose a font, it will come up in your recent fonts. If it has an arrow to it, and it means it has several options, and you can choose any of those options that you like. Now we're going to make the color of our text, or we're going to make it a slightly more turquoise color, a little bit more green. Now we're going to make it bigger. We can always change the size of it. And now we'll drag it into place Finally, if you don't want dots for your list, all you have to do is select them all and we can make a number list. And the number list also has several options. We have lettered lists and Roman numeral lists, but we're going to go back to the dotted one. Now 
Now we're gonna go over them again. This is where you can choose the font, and there are many different fonts to choose from. It also shows your recent fonts that you have used, and all of the different ones, all the different variations. You can also choose any of these numbers, or you can enter it manually. You can increase them or decrease them by default increments. You can erase. You can erase all formatting, which means that you're gonna make it be the way it was before, the default. You can make it any of these bold, italic, underlined, crossed, or all of them at the same time. You can also make it and you can also change the spacing between the letters from very tight where there's spacing is, is very tight to very loose where there's plenty of space in between all of them. Or you can choose a manual one and you have different options for that. We're going to set it to normal. You can also choose different case. So if you accidentally write everything in uppercase, you can always change it to sentence case, all lowercase, or toggle case. Or you can capitalize each word, which won't show up here because we only have one. We'll take it back to sentence case. We have the alignments, align left, middle, or right. We have our bullets and numbering. We also have indenting, which I can demonstrate. You can indent or unindent or by just pressing the tab bar. You can choose line spacing, which is the space between the lines, how many columns you have, whether it's in the top of the text box, the bottom of the text box, or in the middle of the text box, and which way it's rotated. You can also convert it to SmartArt, which is very useful for business presentations or school science presentations. And as you can see, it just makes it into a diagram. Now we can run our presentation and we can see all of our text. It is formatted the way we want to with our list and all of our colors that we want to. And those are the basics of the text box.